Before coming to the ashram, I had a totally different expectation. When I see my seva is becoming more intense, at the same time my practice also becomes intense. Okay, this may be a good chance for me to break my limitation. Namaskaram, I'm Nikhil Yatagadda. I'm from Melbourne, Australia. I'm a mechanical engineer and a business strategy consultant. Now I've joined the Sadhana Pada program and I've been volunteering here at the Isha Yoga Center for about four months now. My name is Diana. Uh, I am uh, from Moldova and Romania. And before coming to the ashram, I've been working as a recruiter for five years in the automotive sector. My name is Farsan. I'm from Melbourne and I've been staying there since a couple of years in Melbourne, Australia. I'd heard about Sadhana Pada program. I had been wanting to do it since quite some time and especially I had seen other uh, participants of Sadhana Pada and the way it had touched them and the way they were, it really like had an impact on me and it was something even I wanted to like do it. Before coming to the ashram, I had uh, totally different expectations, like I didn't know what to expect from the ashram, so I was expecting that I would be meditating the whole day and uh, staying in Yanalinga and so on. But when I came to the ashram, uh, for the first three weeks, I remember that I was allocated to Big Hall volunteering, so it's the, the dining hall. So most of the time I would be cleaning buckets, I would be doing spot cleaning, and it was a little bit uh, of a shocker for me because uh, I was thinking, okay, I left a good job, I left a comfortable home, and now what I'm doing is doing bucket cleaning and also washing the floors. So uh, there was a little bit of internal friction happening at the beginning. I mean, I, I had a lot of taboo with schedule because the minute someone said timetable and schedule, my mind would switch off. So, but when I looked at some of the videos of Sadhana Pada, I realized that everyone will go through a very rigorous schedule. And I thought, okay, this may be a good chance for me to break my limitation and uh, uh, my family was very supportive. Seva has definitely like uh, opened up many things for me. When it comes to my practices also, when I see my seva is becoming more intense, at the same time my practice also becomes intense. As there is also a specific schedule which is a little bit different that you have to follow with the guided yoga asanas and uh, the morning sevas and uh, other monthly meetings and uh, so on. There is no weekend here. Every day is Monday. I'm still facing a little bit that challenge because if you, if you need to rest, you need to be or sick <laughs> or with extreme pain, nothing else. Otherwise you will not rest, which is very good because it's, I'm now ready for life. My initial thought of silence was that, you know, we'll be sitting somewhere, not doing anything, and you know, it'll just be a very nice, slow, calm day. That's not what silence in ashram is. You have a schedule for silence, and it's a pretty packed schedule. So it's mainly focused on, you know, visiting the temples, doing your sadhana, so you rev it up on the sadhana front, you, you know, you do a bunch of other things, but, um, but it's a busy schedule, it's a packed day. So as part of Kriya Yoga, I do the Hatha Yoga practices um, and then, uh, then I do the Shakti Chalana Kriya, the Shambhavi Mahamudra and uh, Shunya as well. For somebody who has reasonably um, dormant lifestyle, uh, I think the Hatha Yoga pra practices brought in a lot of flexibility into me. And uh, with this additional physical flexibility, there's a lot of mental flexibility that came with it. Because during sad Sadhana Pada, you also get the necessary support to, uh, for your Sadhana. So there's already always somebody that is going to be there. And if you're not doing a Sadhana Asana properly, they're going to tell you, look, Akka, you should do this right and try to incorporate this modification. Sadhana Pada, you are always being supportive. There is guidance. You're going through meetings that are happening. So there is a lot of support. So you don't slack with your practices, you're keeping up with them like morning, evening, doing your seva intensely. I'm able to kick, sit comfortably here. <laughs> I, think, I think that's probably the biggest thing. <laughs> uh, I'm able to sit for a decent amount of times in front of the Janalinga with a certain amount of comfort, uh, which wasn't possible like a few months ago. 
and, and there's just that ease in the system, just the way you move around, just the way you get, stand up and do, uh, which actually reduces your resistance for activity. Like if I have to put it in two words, it would be like either becoming still, like sitting in a void, or else it was just being ecstatic and just tears rolling. I've heard Sadhguru speak about mental pandemic and uh, suicides happening quite a lot. So yeah, I think a program like Sadhana Pada is very important, especially for the youth to establish that foundation within themselves, that no matter what they are going through life, they are very balanced within themselves, no matter what outside situations are happening.